Here we are, we got the crutches, and the entrance is all the way over there. Wish me luck, hopefully I don't fall. Hey guys, so a little bit of a different video coming at you today. Um, and that's because I've gotten a lot of questions on how my injury is doing and what is gonna happen in the future. Maybe this will be helpful for someone else who's going through a similar situation. Begin with a little bit of story time. Uh, so we're at the Mendon Hill Hair Scramble and in the first couple of miles in the woods, you go around these big oak trees. You kind of zigzag through them. The turn and I just happened to put my foot down because I had lost my balance. Now the rider next to me was taking the turn at the same time and by freak accident, his rear tire just happened to hit the leg that was on the ground. So at that point in time, I thought somebody had run over my leg. I was actually wrong and it was the impact of the wheel that had probably put a lot of pressure on it and it just happened to break. The guy behind me was actually wearing a GoPro so he has the whole thing on video and he had stopped to help me out because he thought he had hit me himself which was super nice of him. He didn't have to stick around, but. So he was actually the one that got the EMT. Now my dad races a couple lines behind me, uh, and as soon as he saw me on the ground, he knew there was something wrong, so he got off his bike, uh, kind of. He grabbed me by my armpits and like dragged me through the sand so I wasn't in the middle of the trail, uh, picked up my bike, and kind of took care of it. And now my sister also races on the same line as she got a DNF that day because she also pulled over to the side and helped me out. Um, EMT ended up showing up. They asked if I needed a stretcher. Lens. I said, no, absolutely not. That was not necessary. And we went back to the truck. Um, my husband races in the afternoon race. And when I got back to the car, I told him, I was like, hey, I'll just take some of the leave. We'll, we'll just hang out. I'll be okay. And he's like, absolutely not. We're going to go back home and stop at the ER on the way home. Um, we ended up stopping at urgent care and right after we got the x-rays done, they confirmed it was a broken tibia and fibia. I'll insert a photo of the x-ray right here, but basically the urgent care center sent me home in, I think this is called an air cast, something along those lines, but basically you put your leg in here and it acts as a splint. So that's what they had sent me home with and basically just told me to ice it, elevate it, and take a leave. The following day, I was able to secure an appointment with my ortho and he basically confirmed the same thing and told me that I'm looking at a six week recovery time. Um, he wanted to see me the following week just to see how I was doing and that week check-in was going to determine whether or not I needed surgery. Um, Thank God I did not need surgery, so no screws, nothing like that. Um, he did confirm it could heal naturally, so that's the route that we went. Sent me home with one of these bad boys, a boot. So I've been in a boot for the last five weeks, and my five week checkup was yesterday. Um, he told me that my tibia is completely healed, which is awesome. It healed in the total of five weeks, and then he sent me home in a lace up brace. I don't know if you guys can see that. But he basically told me I can go ahead and start walking on it. I can go ahead and um, start wearing a shoe. I can basically do minimal exercise and just to be careful with it. So want to recognize that I feel extremely fortunate to be able to work remotely from home because my injury definitely did not have an impact on my work day. Um, I know people that do physical labor like my husband wouldn't have been able to work from home. Um, so that is also another, I guess, positive that came out of this. In terms of like doing everyday things like going to the grocery store, taking a shower, etc., I was able to take off my boot for showers and going to the grocery store, I got one of those really cool scooters and I just scooted around. Um, but I also bought like a little scooter off of Amazon Marketplace and I would put my knee on there and kind of scoot around um, if I knew I was going out of the house for a longer period of time. So I wanted to show you guys how this works. You put your knee on here and then you push with your other leg and it's a knee scooter. Whoever invented this was a genius. Otherwise, I just use crutches. There is light at the end of the tunnel and I think we'll be at a two month like recovery point 
once I'm able to finally start riding again, um, which is great news. I think hair scramble racing is going to take a back burner for me for a little bit, and I am definitely going to focus my time and attention to the Enduros. Um, recovery has been tough in the sense that I'm an extremely active person, so laying on the couch, taking it easy has definitely been killer. Um, but it's definitely worth it. Yeah. You know, our bodies are like super amazing and I should just be thankful that I have two legs because some people don't even have that. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video and I guess I'll see you next time.